How do you rank your business in the Google three pack for not just one keyword, multiple keywords that can potentially make you a lot of money? And then how do you break proximity? How do you go from being solid green in a three mile radius to a six mile radius to a 15 mile radius to a 30 mile radius? Do you have the opportunity to be found by so many potential customers by ranking for more keywords and breaking proximity? Well, in this video, I will show you we did just that and I will show you how we got it done. So Joe needed just that. He needed to be found in the Google three pack by potential customers for search terms, for keywords, for services such as contract or home renovations, kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling and deck builder. So how do we actually rank all these keywords in a short amount of time and then we break proximity? That's what this video is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I don't do. All right. And I know this is going to go against your beliefs, but this is just the way I do it. So what I'm going to tell you next is going to be very refreshing for a lot of you that are spending countless hours behind your computer trying to improve your Google three pack rankings from your on page and your off page SEO. I never touch the websites and I never do any off page SEO. So what are some of the things that you might be doing off page SEO? Well, citations, uh, web 2.0s, backlinks, press releases, uh, even mentions on a YouTube video. Think with me, how many times have you noticed a competitor is a ranking you with the Facebook page or with no website or with the Google site? And you're like, how in the world they don't have domain authority, they don't have content, they don't have enough number of pages, they don't have location pages. How in the world is this listing outranking me? And here you are spending time and money trying to outrank them with the regular SEO methods, right? Well, in my opinion, it just doesn't work. I never do it. I say, don't do it if you don't have to, because you don't have to. In my humble opinion, the number one ranking factor for 2023 will be and it is now engagement It's actually the community doing the seo for you it's the community choosing your listing for a specific service over your competitors is the community interacting with your brand is reading your reviews is looking at your photos is visiting your website some of you know about organic seo how do you get some pages to rank on the number one page of google isn't it about engagement isn't it by people clicking on your site? Doesn't Google determine which page should be number one because it has more engagement than other pages? Maybe not necessarily the best content, but it has more engagement. So that's exactly what we're making happen with our GMBs, with our listings for our clients. Now that you know that it's all about engagement, I'm going to walk you through my step-by-step -step process. I only take clients that I can rank and see there's some of the things that I look at before I say yes to a client or say yes to a project. First and foremost, you want to look at your GMB insight data. Not a lot of people look here. Now, a lot of people look at Google Search Console and they can see what kind of search terms are ranking for. But what about your GMB insight data? Take a look at your performance and under overview and take a look at your keywords. If you have your most profitable keywords in your GMB Insight data, you're on the right path. Now, if you don't have any of your profitable keywords inside in your GMB Insight data, you got to make them show there. That's how you're going to rank for those keywords. Now, a lot of you have asked me and you're probably wondering how in the world am I going to get my most profitable keywords to appear right at the top of my GMB Insights and no longer with a minus 15 or under 15 search volume, you want to have the most amount of volume more than your competitors. But how do you do that? How do you get those keywords in there? Well, I'm glad you asked because it's with engagement, it's with click through rate. If you notice to the left on your GMB Insight data, Google is, as, is actually telling you whether those searches came from a mobile device, desktop, iPad, or tablet. So Google is recording what people are searching for and the keywords people are searching for in choosing your GMB for. That's how you're going to change that data and it's, ladies and gentlemen, with click-through rate. So for step number one, you look at your GMB insight data. What do you do? If you don't have your most profitable keywords up on top, you gotta make it show there. Now say you have them, but you don't have enough volume, you have that negative 15 or you have 60 or 90 
uh, for the entire six months, that's not enough volume. So if you don't have them, you have to get them in there, or maybe you have them and you have to crank up the volume. So we're going to go ahead and do that with click through rate. Next, you want to run a scan. I love local Falcon because it's able to give me real data. I know exactly if I can get that listing ranked in four weeks or not. Let me show you how I go through that. So Joe wants to be found for contractor Staten Island. That's his most profitable keyword. I looked at his GMB insight data. He does not have that keyword in there. So I will make sure that it appears there. Now I'm going to look at the scan for contractor Staten Island to see what kind of phase he's in. I'm going to say he's in phase one because if the keyword is not inside of the GMB data, he probably does not have a very good scan. And here it is. We started working with this client at the end of November. The scan was taken on November 22nd. And you can see here that he only ranks within his own four walls, meaning he's not getting a lot of customers. Now, how do I know that in four weeks I'm going to change this scan? Let me show you how I determine if I can do it or not. So right here in your scan, you want to go all the way up here where it says view competitor report. Click on that and then let's analyze this data. If the competitor number one is taking up the whole thing, meaning your competitor is breaking proximity, that means that Google is allowing businesses in this area, in this niche to break proximity. I'll give you an example right now as to where it's completely the opposite. But if you see that your competitor is ranking everywhere right here, this competitor is ranking all the way in Brooklyn, all the way in New Jersey, not only ranking in Staten Island, but actually breaking proximity. This is the perfect case scenario. Every time I see this, I get my clients ranked in four weeks, applying the right recipe, of course. Now we're going to see the exact opposite. This gentleman contacted me. He wanted to rank for gutter cleaning. So he sends me his GMB information, his maps URL and his keyword. He says he wants to rank in a seven mile radius. So I'm thinking he has gutter cleaning in the GMB title. Chances are that he ranks. But when I run my scan, he's completely, completely red. I mean, look at the scan. Now I've been able to transform scans like this, but before you say yes to this project, look at the competitors. Go up here, click on competitors, now analyze the data. You would see that your competitor number one is only taking a little bit of the real estate. Now go to competitor number two, just a little bit of the real estate. Competitor number three is the same. Competitor number four is the same. It's very, very, very fragmented. This means that Google is not breaking proximity for anybody. So it does not matter how much click-through rate, reviews, SEO, backlinks. It does not matter where you're going to do in this area. It's just not going to happen. You're not going to be able to bring pro rank, break proximity or rank your listing. So I did not take this client. I said, I told him like, you better move. I mean, you're competing up against monsters and I don't think that I can do the job for you. So there are certain areas that Google would not break proximity for anybody. I tested this area with different niches and every single scan was the same. Google not breaking proximity for anybody. So I normally don't take this client. So if that's, if that's you, if that's your listing, if that's your client, very challenging. I am testing a new method to see if I can try to break proximity with the right SEO, but that would be another video in a couple of months because I'm testing that method. But as of right now, this would not be a good case scenario. So going back to Joe, I make sure that I can actually get him ranked and break proximity. Now this scan was taken November 22nd. As you can see, very challenging. He's really not getting business. We started working truly on this listing on November 29th. By December 30th, I ran another scan. You ready? This is what it looked like by December 30th, only after four weeks of my special sauce and recipe. And that is making sure that we get that keyword inside of the GMB data by applying the click-through rate method and engagement method that I teach in my course. I basically find addresses in the area and I create all that hyper-local traffic. That's how we get the keyword inside of the GMB data and that's how we're able to change the scans. So we did it. We got him ranked and we were able to break proximity. And we got him ranked for multiple keywords, not just one keyword. So for your other keywords, how about kitchen renovations, Staten Island? We got him ranked. Bathroom renovations, Staten Island. 
contractor near me, basement renovation Staten Island, all of those keywords he was able to rank. Well, let me show you the GMB Insight data because this is where it's at. You guys see this? You see now we've completely transformed the entire GMB Insight data. It means that people in the area look for that search term, chose Joe's listing, and now we are starting to change things. It's right here. It's right here. It's this data is transforming this data that is going to transform your rankings. So very excited. Let me show you some scans for these other keywords and you can see how it really does work. Now you can see that at the very top of this new GMB Insight data, we, we find kitchen renovation Staten Island. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scan for this keyword. And look at the massive scan right here. It's incredible. I mean, we're completely taking it over. Four weeks ago, he was nowhere to be found for this keyword. Second keyword is bathroom renovation Staten Island, completely taking over with the scan. And the list goes on and on. So the, the key is to transform this data, create all that engagement, and let the community do the SEO. We just pretend we're the community, right? So that's how we got him ranked. So how would you like to get results like this time and time again for your clients, for your agency, for your own listing, for your own businesses? Well, my course is out and I invite you to train with me. I develop a method that is very easy to follow, very easy to understand. Shoot me over an email and let me know who you are. I want to get to know you. I want to see if you're a good candidate for this course. I love teaching and my students are having great results. You'll find my email address in the, in the description of this video. And if you are a busy business owner, just wanted to dominate in your area, but you really don't have the time to get into the nitty gritty of engagement and SEO and keywords, I'll be more than happy to help you. Why don't you shoot me over an email with your maps URL or just your name, address and telephone number, keywords desired to rank for, and of course, the mile radius that you're looking to expand. I only take clients that I can actually help and that can actually rank. So I'll be more than happy to take a look at that for you. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And I really, really wish to see you in the course. Till next time. Bye-bye.